Hello, hello! Let's talk about these cute books by Emily Lindhall Oberg, a Swedish um, coloring book artist. She's got these two books. This one's called Fairy Tales. And then um, Sagor och Sogner, I guess. I'm not Swedish. So, <laughs> These two books are so cute and I haven't colored much in them. I should color more in them. I've been working um, quite a bit in some Hannah Carlson books, which, so I need to do more in these books. They're so cute and so I wanted to share them with you today. So I think this one came out first in, uh, it says it was published in Sweden in 2016 and I found it on Amazon. And then this one, I've heard I don't know if they're selling it right now. I will look for you, and if, if I can find it, it will be in the description box below. But um, it was published in 2017, and I ordered it off of it, it says in here, off of um, printworksmarket.com. But last time I checked, it said that it wasn't in stock. So I don't know what that means. But it's so cute. So I'm hoping that you can find it if it's something that you would like to have. And I will look for you. I like a mark on there. Okay, so the first one has a, um, just a paper cover. It does have this little flippy outy thing. <laughs> That's a technical term for it, flippy outy thing. And the dust jacket there. So cute. All right, let's move this one out of the way. <clears throat> Get things settled here. Okay. So fairy tales. She has a very distinct style, which I like. I like when I can look at the page and I know who the illustrator is. She has it cute houses, cute birds, and some animals. Her animals are usually done with these little dashes. So I think, you know, you can color in your fur. You don't have a hard line getting in the way, which I think is kind of nice. I think her people are very distinct. Her buildings are very distinct. It's beautiful. As you can see, they're double-sided, so you wouldn't want to use your alcohol markers unless you don't want to use the other page. The paper is rather, it's not very thick paper, but it's definitely thicker than like create space or anything of that nature. Um, I prefer to use just colored pencils on these books, but you could probably use a little water to make sure to dry it in between layers. Make sure not to get your paper too wet. It will wrinkle. This paper will wrinkle. So cute. Got the swan princess, do you think, since they're fairy tales? Some aren't too distinct in what fairy tale they would be, but some of them are. You can see. Photograph, record player. This one has a frog, a frog prince, and a girl in a jar with a straw. <laughs> I don't know, but it's cute. This one is a looks like a house, but the house looks like it's a heart, like an actual anatomical heart. These books do have a lot of pictures in them. You have a lot to color. To complete one of these would take a while. I have never completed a coloring book. I am trying to complete um, Seasons by Hannah Carlson, which is why I've been working in it quite a bit. But um, 
this one would take take a while to complete, but it's very pretty. And I just love it. I love that you can tell that it's her book. Her illustrations, very distinct style. Very cute. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. The bottle says, drink me. And you've got a, uh, what, are, what are those birds? Flamingo, you know, that she plays croquet with. And you've got the um, stopwatch of the rabbit and the caterpillar back there. Cute one you could do in the winter time as a Christmas ornament. This house, flowers, some cute strawberries in this bucket. There's a little squirrel or something. He's wrapped around a strawberry. That's cute. It's like this little water. I don't know either monster or um, I don't know kind of looks like a head of a seahorse and dragonflies and this girl in the water here's probably the only one in this book that I've actually started coloring <laughs> this one's cute for Christmas lots of ornaments deer they're like stuffed animals and a robot Kind of a random robot in there. Another frog. Far, far away, once upon a time. Cute little cottage. Got some bunnies. There's a, um, a diver, scuba diver, lots of sea creatures. And then we have a cold little bunny over here. He's got his ice skates, he's ready to go. This is kind of cute, all the flowers in the shape of a globe. I think it's cute. And maybe Thumbelina, you think? She's got lemons or limes on her dress. That's cute. I'm saying cute a lot. And a skull. But he's a cute skull. He's got flowers and a crown. Some mushrooms with a deer. This he looks like an owl. He's got his uh, feathers, his wings wrapped around her. It's cute. The deer, that's the front cover of this book. Kind of a Russian type building on that flower. They're always fun to color. If you go look up the buildings, they're always really colorful. They're kind of fun. Peacock. Lots of deer. There's another deer. A gingerbread house. Some shelf of candy. Post. Here's a dog. He's kind of fun. Okay, my camera quit, said my card was full, so I had to adjust things. So if it looks like the camera changed, angle changed a little bit, it did. It's not just you. All right, so we're saying um, some post and the dog, he's got a crown, he's rather regal. And then here's a girl, kind of fall foliage, she's wearing a sweater. Another one of her houses on the flower. She likes to do that. This might be Ariel, you think, from The Little Mermaid.
lots of houses on branches here. And then we have just a flower on this side. Here's a crown. And a girl maybe wrapped in blankets. Cute. There's a little home in this tree. And this one's kind of funny. This is an octopus and he's got his tentacles around a ship. And then he has a flower and a seashell and an anchor down here in his tentacle. First time I saw that picture, I was like, what is that? Couldn't figure it out for a second. That's what it is. Mouse. And here is the end. Another little flippy outy. That's the technical term. Cute, cute. So that one's Fairy Tales. And again, I found that one on Amazon. Right. And then we have this one that is Swedish. So I don't know that I'm saying it correctly. Sagor och Sagnar. Sagnar? Sag? Sagner, Sogner, Sagner, I don't know. Cute. Okay. So this one's a hardcover. And it is taller, but more narrow. So it's a little taller, a little more narrow than the other one which makes it hard for me to put them together on my bookcase because I like things organized. But that's okay. It's still such a pretty book. Okay, so you'll see that in her distinct style again, you've got the houses the same, you've got the deer. You know this is her work. I love it. I've only colored one picture in this book too, as well, I believe. Really cute. Here's the one picture I've colored. We use polychromos on him. A little glitter pin on his beard. I don't know if you can see it shimmer or not. An acrylic ink in the or paint in the background, some stars. Lots of deer, a few underwater pictures, there's a fish and some seashells, a jellyfish. This one's another water, We've got some coral and some shells, that house, the winter one, and then some cake. Looks like cake, looks like you could live in it too. Here's that same sea creature from the other book. Do you remember him? Before we only saw his head, we weren't sure what he was, but here's the rest of him. Sword in the stone. Bunnies at a picnic. Get in the basket. Another deer. Here's a cat. There was a dog in the other one. Here's a cat. There's a frog in a jar again. A few things carrying over. So pretty. I should color more in this. Should be my next one. I've got so many to color in though, it's hard for me to choose. And then I get stuck in a where I color the same in the same book or the same artist all the time. I'm dead. 
Or in this one, there's a mouse on a frog in the water. Just cute ideas. I just like it. Tea kettle and a teacup. Gnome, maybe a fox. They've got a nest and a teacup. Couple of critters, couple of foxes, maybe. Maybe they're squirrels, I'm not sure what those are. three-year-old is ready to get up. So, as soon as I finish this, so we'll get him. Oh, I added some red to these teacups. They've got some berries in them. Look at that. Forgot I had done that. She looks like she could be Little Red Riding Hood. This mouse is moving or going on vacation. Got our luggage all packed. Sleeping Beauty, maybe? This could be the mirror from Beauty and the Beast, if you wanted it to be. I have a friend who really likes Beauty and the Beast. Some elves, maybe checking the list. This could be um, Ariel's father. What's his name? King Trident, is that his name? Or it could be the uh, Greek god. I don't know, I need to freshen up on my stuff. We've got a dragon wrapped around a house. She likes those houses and the flowers. It's a pretty idea though. A snake. Lots of flowers. Another mermaid. There's another frog. Unicorn. A dragonfly. She looks like she'd be a fairy. She has like these wings. Squirrel with a sword and a crown. There's another fairy, the scepter, and then some mice taking a Bath and a teacup. Got the shower spout. Little birds. Rabbit. This is going to be good for the winter time. Got all these maybe mountains of snow. There's a hedgehog or something. Carrying his stuff on his back. A bear. Some more luggage. Just a pretty book. I need to color more in it. Maybe I should set it aside. Have it be my next one. Hmm, that one's a little busy. It'll take you a while. And the end. 
Mr. Uh, St. Nick there, Santa Claus. Really pretty books. I'll try to leave some links down below if I can find them. I'm not sure I'll be able to find this one. I hope so. I hope we can find it. And um, this one is on Amazon, so you should be able to find it. So have a good day. Hope you find some time to color and relax and enjoy yourself. And I will see you later. Bye.